we we always get out the cowbell when we talk about PRs in the studio, shoo, shoo, studio. Pinching pennies time, pinch those pennies once a year, maybe twice a year. We do a vlog like this, a little, a little catch up vlog, everybody. We're gonna, we're gonna make it through together these winter months. Oh, it's the coldest I think it's been all winter today in Denver. So it's an indoor vlog today, that is for sure. We got shoes, I just went up to the archive, pulled as many as I could uh, as possible that I am putting into shoes that I would buy again for under $100 right now. Okay, let me just set a few down real quick. I hope everyone's doing well. Staying warm out there. I know every everybody in the uh, Southern Hemisphere is like, we are loving life down here in South Africa, in New Zealand, in uh, Argentina, wherever you're watching around the world. Thank you for tuning in. So here's the deal. Not every company, sorry, not every size is going to be available that I talk about today. I'm running out of space here in the studio. There we go, Got a couple more spots there. Not every size is gonna be available, all right? And I work with Running Warehouse, okay? So I'm pulling, so if you buy your running shoes from the links down below in the description or over on demoreglobalrunning.com, I get a kickback and it helps me from Running Warehouse. They, they give me a kickback once a quarter and it helps a ton with making these daily vlogs for all of you. So that's where I'm pulling these prices from just so just wanna to be totally transparent and upfront with all of you here at the beginning. Also, um, oh yeah, question of the day. What was the last pair of running shoes and where did you buy them from? What was the last pair of running shoes that you bought for under $100, okay? And where'd you get them from, okay? So I'm not afraid to, down in the comments, let loose. I am all about hitting pause, reflecting, and remembering where we've come from as runners over the past, I'm just gonna say the last two years, that's it all. 2020 and 2021 with respect to the growth, evolution, and progress in running shoe technology. There have been incredible running shoes put out into the marketplace over the past two years that just remember, when you bought the, for the first time, you were like, this is an amazing running shoe. Those shoes that I'm gonna talk about right now are on sale right now. Now again, not all sizes are available, sadly, uh, but we'll do our best to get as many in front of you as possible today, all right? So again, running warehouse down below in the description in case you care to pick them up from there. But who knows, I, maybe there's better deals that are, that are gonna be talked about down below in the comments. Let loose, colon, shoe, colon. All right, let's dive in. Here we go, everybody. Uh, we're gonna do three neutral shoes, three stability shoes, and three trail shoes. Starting first, of course, with the Nova Blast One. There it is, $74, and I'm gonna do my best to pull footage from when I reviewed these shoes, okay? From way back in the archive. So ASICS Nova Blast took the running, uh, the running world by storm, frankly, and they're still available in, uh, at run, but not again, not all sizes, but $74. That is the winner winner. Chicken dinner for today, ASICS Nova Blast. Um, who has picked up the Nova Blast one in the past, let's say six months? All right, let us know in the comments. All right, we'll put that guy over there. Next up for the neutral side, the Rincon. There it is, Rincon 2 for $91. Hoka Rincon 2, $91. I mean, if I had to choose between the Nova Blast and the Rincon, I probably did a running shoe battle between these two. I should also mention, like, why do I love the Nova Blast lineup? Is the bounce of the midsole and the Jacquard mesh through the toe box. Love the breathability of this shoe, okay? But that bounce in the midsole is just incredible. Moving on to the Rincon, it's the weight. And uh, like if it's so lightweight, I think you could use it for a tempo day if you wanted to, okay? Hoka Rincon, who's a fan, all right? I know a lot of people have picked this shoe up now. 
I guess one little small drawback is the durability of the shoe. Some people, you know, and I would agree, like it's not gonna last you for 600 miles. I'd put it more in that, frankly, 300 to 400 range for the Hoka Rincon. Okay, sticking that over there. Moving on now to the sketch. Ooh, this is one I could not find. I was looking up in the archive. The Skechers Go Run 3, Razor 3, I should say. Skechers Go Run Razor 3 or Razor Plus, okay? Either one, both going for $79. That is what I'm talking about, $79. Again, shoes that are lightweight, could be used for tempo days, um, could be used for, but the crossover, tweener alert, tweener alert, could also be used for, uh, for daily training, okay? Now, I wouldn't use it for a long run, I wouldn't use it for a middle distance day, but for those, you know, five to 10 mile runs, absolutely the Skechers Go Run Razor 3 or Razor Plus, $79. Moving on to the stability shoes, here we go. Ultra Paradigm. I couldn't believe I found this guy. Uh, the, the Now it's a zero drop, keep it in mind. Really enjoyed it, all right? Maybe a smidge heavy, but as far as stability, it's got this guide rail technology built on uh, to, the, to the medial side of the shoe. Actually, lateral side too, to a certain extent but I just uh, love the, par the uh, Paradigm lineup. Very, 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 very comfortable shoe. Plush upper, plush tongue, plush collar, plush heel counter. It almost even looks plush in the toe box to a certain extent. So Paradigm, if you want comfort, keeping in mind, zero drop, Ultra Paradigm 5 is coming at you for $99. Moving on to the New Balance, huh? Don't forget about New Balance. 860 V10, 860 V10, New Balance 860 V10, okay? And oh yeah, I will do my best to link to all of these full reviews down below in the description, okay? Also, they're of course listed down below for buying if you wanna pick them up. New Balance 860 V10, it's got that harder, you know, rubber on the outs. Oh man, whoo, I'm trying to think why I love this shoe. Durability, and they actually, this one is brand new um, because they sent me two pairs, so I didn't actually run in this pair. That's why it looks so fresh there on the bottom. It's gonna go forever. So if you want a high durability, boom, 860 V10 from New Balance. And last but not least, the Skechers Forza 4, okay? Skechers Forza 4 for a, a lighter stability option, okay? Not medium or high, meaning if you only need a, a touch of stability for your foot strike, the Skechers Forza, all right? And it's coming in at $69, can't beat that. Skechers Forza 4, spelled F-O-R-Z-A. All right, sound good, winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, trail shoes, moving on to the trails. Gotta love those trails. The Bro This is another one I couldn't quite find, Brooks Cascadia 15. Brooks Cascadia 15, all right, coming in at $59. Whoa, hello. Now I did notice not many sizes are available, okay? Brooks, who's a, who's a fan of the Brooks Cascadia lineup, okay? I loved the Cascadia 16. I loved it. It was a great, great shoe training for Pikes Peak last, uh, last summer, 2021. But the Cascadia 15 was also a solid option. Moving on now, two shoes coming in at $94. Still under 100, that's what I'm talking about. Ultra, back to that zero drop Lone Peak 5. I actually just tested the Lone Peak 6. I should probably do a running shoe battle. I'll link to the running shoe battle playlist upper right hand corner. Also again down in the description. Ultra Lone Peak 5. Um, man, if you want a shoe where you get a little bit of ground contact feel out there on the trails. Ultra Lone Peak 5, take a look. $94, can't beat it. I mean, it's just great. It looks like I didn't even touch the ground. And I mean, as far as just that outsole, I think it's just, again, it's just gonna go forever and ever for you out there into trails. And last but not least, Peregrine 11, everyone. Peregrine 11, now a little bit of a firmer ride, but sometimes that's nice for peppiness and snappiness underfoot out there on the trails. Sometimes you don't wanna sink into the midsole when you're trying to pick up the paces just a little bit on the trails. Sockney Peregrine 11 for you, once again at $94.
I mean, zero creasing through that midsole, all right, for the Peregrine 11. And I actually, I think I just tested the 12 as well. So anyway, Saucony Peregrine 11, and a boy, an aggressive outsole. So you're not gonna be slipping in the mud. You know, it is, I'm filming this in the winter, but soon enough, it's gonna be spring, which means mud season in Colorado. Lots and lots of mud. That outsole is epic in the Peregrine lineup. Sound good, everybody. Uh, that's it, it's simple. All the shoes, nine shoes, under $100. They're available if you can find your size. I hope you can. If you can't, um, look around in the comments and see what other people are talking about. And who knows, maybe there's other websites out there or local running shoe stores they might have your size on in clearance, okay? So, butter to the bread. I hope that helped a little bit. Pinching pennies here in DGR. That's how we like to roll. All right, comment of the day goes to running with the Dr. Andrew DPT. He says, great video, Seth. I love threshold training. I really see, or running, he says, it really seems to help out those tough moments of running. This weekend, I ran a PR in my half marathon. Ayo! We... We always get out the cowbell when we talk about PRs in the shoe-dio, shoe-shoe-dio. 133.54, congrats, man, fast. And I contribute consistency of weekly threshold runs and long runs. Keep up the good work in sharing your training moments with us. Sounds like we train very, very similarly, all right? Running with Dr. Andrew, DPT, you get the comment of the day, question of the day. All right, I guess I already asked it. Best running shoe that you have purchased for under $100 uh, let's say in the last 12 months, and where did you get it? Where did you get it? We will toss it to um, the Running Shoe Matrix of 2021. Road Running Shoe Matrix of 2021, in case you want to dive deeper into many of these shoes. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.